So I um, did a video on unboxing my Type 56 SKS that I got from Classic Firearms. Uh, when I did it, it was really soaked in Cosmoline and it was pretty much, I was unable to kind of like sit it down and do it once over. So I'm going to attempt to do a fairly quick once over on my firearm. I uh, found a video on YouTube and I will try to link uh, his video in the description of this in case you're curious what I use to take this down and clean it out with mineral spirits. I got some from, um, I got some mineral spirits from Ace Hardware and I essentially just took it apart, put all the metal pieces into a tub for a couple of days and just let it soak then came back and cleaned it out. Um, I have not cleaned it since um, I just I cleaned it up with mineral spirits but I didn't really actually go back through and clean up the, uh, the firearm as far as uh, a normal cleaning goes so what you're going to see is kind of a once over of it um, I can't show you the barrel however uh, just trust that it is shiny and clean um, it, was, it was nice and bright there was a, when I ran a patch down it there was at the end when it came out there was a thing of grease about like that long that just came out of it so it was it was very well protected uh, but anyways here's my once over and just start in down at the end of the stock and I don't I don't really know if I want to um, try to redo this stock or if I want to put an aftermarket stock on it, I don't think these are ever going to be worth a whole lot of money. Um, you can see some things like bangings and everything that it was probably in the crates or just soldiers using it, just not giving a damn about their guns. I don't know. But this is one of the deeper ones right here. And it kind of looks like, honestly kind of looks like the end of that so I wouldn't be surprised if another rifle this part of another rifle smacked into it over here I mean it makes the most sense at any rate um, again I just cleaned it up with mineral spirits and I put it back together and did a function check on it and everything seems to be uh, just fine on it I think it's got some pretty neat or pretty nice bluing. I don't think I'm going to mess around trying to blue it or anything. Uh, the bayonet itself is in fairly good shape. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with that at all. The cleaning rods here, it was in pretty good shape. Um, the only thing that I saw on the firearm that looked a little weird to me was this front sight here. And if you can see, it's a little off-center. It's a little kick to the side. Um, Palmetto State Armory actually has a tool. And I think it's like 5 bucks, maybe 8 bucks, uh, for AK sights and SKS sights. So I'm thinking about getting one of those just to adjust it. It may not need it. Uh, I have yet to shoot this firearm, so I don't know. Flip it around for you. start in the back so again it's got some scratches and I mean I'm sure if, if you had some good word working skills you could redo the stock fairly easy I just I don't know if I, I don't know if I trust myself to do it yet but again I I seriously doubt the, these rifles will be worth anything in my lifetime anyway um, there's plenty of people that have unissued SKS's out there that's probably going to be worth way more than these but you never know with you never know alright um so last time when I was doing this and again I'm not an expert on SKS's I made that clear I think but um I was wondering if it was a, a numbers matching, so I just want to show you all the ones I found. So, this is on the receiver itself. So, again, you got some Chinese stamp codes, and then uh, 122, that's nowhere else, but then you got the 75380, or 81, sorry. 
that number, 75381, is here. It's on the magazine itself. It's on my stock. It's on the uh, bolt. I guess you can call that the bolt carrier. Charging handle, whatever you want to call it. One thing I didn't know is it's also on the trigger guard. Okay. And then inside. I didn't know this until recently, but the inside on the actual um, where the firing pin's at, the block, it's also there. So, and yep, they're all matching. And again, I didn't pay extra for this, so that's pretty cool. Give you a look inside. That's what it looks like inside. Um, again, I didn't do a normal cleaning and just did a mineral spirits cleaning but I wish I could really show you guys that barrel because it very much impressed me um, I'm gonna take it apart a little bit just to show you I'm trying to keep that scratch right there down as minimal as I can but whatever so the video I'm gonna link and again I forget his name okay I'm a fucking idiot I've got it back and locked so that spring was compressed and I just took it apart because I'm fucking stupid don't do that anyways I was able to catch it so alright um, one thing about when I got the firearm, for whatever reason, um, it was like this. And everybody says on the internet, the ugly side goes in, and that will keep it from slam firing. That's guess it can slam fire. So, again, it was like this. Ugly side in. It's one thing about it. Um, when I took this apart, and to clean it, um, I actually took apart the spring as well. There's a tube inside of this, and it kind of looks like I need to do it again. Um, but you can take it apart. There's this little clip. There's this little notch in this clip. You can pull the spring down, and then you can just take that off, and then it comes apart. And then it's held together by this tube, and then this little, I don't know what you call it, rod or whatever. But there was a lot of cosmoline inside of this tube, so I'd recommend you taking it apart as well. Um, take this apart. Um, so my phone does everything backwards, so you're probably gonna when I'm looking at it like this. So it's probably gonna be backwards on the screen. But uh, again, there's another uh, seven five three eight one, and uh, again, like this is my right hand. Uh, so seven five three eight one. That's the only numbers I could find anywhere on this. If you guys know of another place where there might be a number, please let me know, and I will do it. So, one thing um, that I've been told you got to make sure of, and if you can see in here, and I cleaned it out again a little bit, um, there's still a little bit of crud in there, but this being free-flowing is the most important part. Okay, as far as slam fires go. Okay, so the hammer hits here. On this side is your firing pin. So you see it comes out like that. Well, from my understanding, now again, I'm not an expert, but from my understanding on these is I try to make it focus on that, not my face. So right now it's out and push it in. If it gets stuck in like that, as soon as you go forward on a round, boom, that's going to go. And it's going to slam fire your entire magazine. So if you're not pointing it in a safe direction, you're going to get 10 rounds going into a place you don't want it to go. So, something to think about. I know I am not going to put any ammunition in this firearm until I'm at a range and I am pointing it down range, just to make sure. But, um, it is free-flowing, so... One thing I was curious about, it's got some... It's got this little thing right here that kind of comes out a little bit. 
and I think you can take this apart, but I don't know how, so I'm not going to screw with it. Um, I'm going to look around on the internet and see if there's a, a video for it or not. I think Brownells has a how to clean SKS video. I might look at that because um, I don't want to mess this up. But anyways, I took it apart just to show you that that is a number on it. That is also a 75381. Um, so my stuff's good. Show you the inside of the magazine. Looks pretty good to me. Um, of course, this came right off whenever I took it apart. But that spring is really strong. And then when I took that out, I just again soaked it in mineral spirits for a couple of days. But, so that's really. Um, I guess I could show you the bayonet real quick. I don't know what this bayonet's made out of. Probably stainless steel, maybe. Something to look up. But, uh. We're getting stabbed with like a big flat tip screwdriver. And it's got three points on it, so. <laughs> that would suck really bad. But, at any rate, uh, I was trying to make this as quick as possible, and I think I went a little long. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, um, once over once I was able to actually sit it down and do it. So let me know what you think and uh, appreciate you watching.